the Armstrong Report can help to point us forward to a more advanced culture of governance. In such a culture of governance, I would envisage the state having to commission a, um, a review of this sort, an investigation of the kind that, that Mr. Armstrong and his team did, um, and that this would be d disseminated to the public. But they would have to do that before they embarked upon any kind of project that is likely to have an impact on community rights, the environment, and the public purse. And I'm thinking of projects like the smelter. I don't know if any such thing was done there. Um, and whatever it is they're trying to put up in Takarigo Savannah, for example. Then this, this would be, be made public and so, so that the public can participate in coming to a consensus. But of course, if there are really drastically negative impacts that are identified in the investigation, then the government should be held to, to heeding whatever guidance is given on these impacts. And we, the, the public, because in, in a more advanced system of governance, our opinion will count. We will have the, the confidence that our opinion will play a role in whatever decision is taken, and we will then become, we the public, I'm talking about, we the public, we will then become the watchdogs who will ensure compliance you know, on the part of the state. I don't think that it's too late for the Armstrong Report to be used as an instrument of transparency and accountability and popular participation in governance, our participation in making decisions that affect our lives and the running of the country. And all of this is in the spirit of deepening our democracy.